Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at what's inside this DHL package I've had delivered. And now I'm going to be reviewing and testing whatever products inside it. So let's open it up. It's come all the way from Hong Kong. So let's take a look at what I've got. So a couple of companies have got in touch with me recently and asked me if I'd like to review their products. So I kind of got a bit of an idea of what's in here, but I'm not completely sure until I open it up. It's come from a, a manufacturer called Oclean. So let's open it up. of writing in Chinese. Let's put it down there. Put my letter open I hit it. Alright. So there's a couple of boxes in here. So Oakleen have very kindly sent me two products to review. I've got a toothbrush. Uh, it's a Tulip Air 2 Sonic electric toothbrush. And I've got a Oclean W1 Smart Oral Irrigator. That looks very sleek. So, oh, it's got an app that links to this. That's quite interesting. So you can get their app on uh, Google Play in the App Store and it's got a little QR code to download the app. Uh, it comes with a magnetic USB charger, user manual, travel case, uh, supported devices at Andrew, Android 5.1, iOS 9, iOS 9 and higher. Uh, okay. So in today's video I'm going to review the water flosser. Okay, so the first step, I'm going to download the Android app. So I'm just going to scan the QR code with my phone. That takes you to a URL on their website. App download, Oclean Smart Sonic Toothbrush. Uh, we want the international Android version. That takes you to the Play Store. Sign in. Okay, so that's installed the Oclean app on my phone. So I'm ready to go with the app. So let's open the box for the water flosser. It's very sleek, it reminds me of a phone box. Oh, it's got this cellophane that you always get on phones and other kind of packages. So yeah, it feels like a phone box. It's slowly opening. Help that along a bit. Alright, there we go. So you get a little piece of paper that says oh, welcome. Uh, that just tells you what all the different parts are. Okay. Nice paper. Very, yeah, very glossy. This is just your kind of quick start guide. Got a nozzle. Got two nozzles, that's handy. The good thing with two nozzles is that you can share your um, water flosser, so if you're a two-person household you could change the nozzle over. Or, uh, I don't know if they're different heads, they look like the same heads, but if you've got two, then two people can use a water flosser. Or you can just change one after a year or so, or whenever it gets grimy. As you can tell I don't change my water flosser head very often, I didn't get that dirty. Okay, got a nice little USB uh, charging lead. It does feel like a phone in the way it's packaged. It's very smart. And it almost looks like a sort of... It looks like a MagSafe. Actually, it might be MagSafe. Is that magnetic? Oh, yeah. Well, that is smart. That's magnetic. It's very nice. I'm not exactly sure what this bit is. Oh, that was a case. Well, that's very nice. So it's got a travel case. Tape. Give me that. 
comes with a little plastic case. And there's the body of the water flosser. It's a lot smaller than my uh, other water floss that I've got, which is good. Um, now, do I read the instructions or do I just wing it? Rattles, not sure why. I should probably read the instructions. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute when I've read the instructions. Nozzle, mode switch button, mode indicator light, water tank. Magnetic charging pull and power button, right? Okay. Okay, so the water tank just pulls downwards, and that's what was rattling about. It's the little siphon hose. So oh, that's quite neat. It's nice and easy to pull off. Let's open up one of these nozzles. Number one, number one oral irrigator nozzle standard. And just see what it's got in the end. Okay, so that's quite nice. It's got a, um, I don't know if the camera, will. there we go. It's got a nice little rubber tip on it, so that'll be good. And I guess that just goes, plugs into the top. And just pushes in. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. And then the charger, or the charging port, is just there and it just clips on. Now that is nice. Nice little MagSafe charger. So that's quite handy. Lead's a bit short, but uh, I guess that's all you really need. Um, so I'll give this a charge and then. Uh, I need to read the manual a bit more on the modes and stuff. I'm also intrigued at how the app attaches to this. And I've just read here in the manual that you should change your oral irrigator nozzles every four to six months. So I'm a bit of a minger, changing mine once a year. So every four to six months you're going to have to get a new one of those. Or I suppose they would say that though because they want you to buy a new one. but. I'll probably always put them in Milton or something to uh, sterilize them. So charging time is three hours. Okay. They didn't come with this, but I've got a spare uh, USB phone charger. So I'm sure you've got a few of these lying around. Let's plug that in. Let's charge it. The nice thing about this MagSafe charger, it only goes one way. If you try and put it upside down, it repels it. You can see that's flashing as it charges. Three hours later. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now. I'm just gonna have a little play with it. So on first impressions, it feels very sleek in the hand. Um, here's my daily driver, my uh, normal water floss that I've been using for a year or two now. And if you can compare the size of them, it's quite a bit smaller. I mean, the obvious thing is the reservoirs are, and the reservoirs probably what, a sick for the size, so be interesting to compare it to this one. So I'm just going to fill up the reservoir with water. Now it's got two buttons. You've got a power button and a mode selection button. Let's turn it on. Okay, so I've had a little play and I think I've got the buttons figured out. So up here you've got the on and off button. This button also doubles up as a mode button and then you've kind of got your trigger, I guess, or your action button. So in the first mode, it just does a slow puff or jet. So as long as you've got that button down, it will just continue. But as soon as you let go of the button, it will stop. So you can just do one jet. If we move it down to the next mode, then it will just do continuous jet, so you don't need to keep your finger on the button. And if we move to the third mode, I'll just click it, turn off, move it down to the third mode, and then it just does faster continuous jets. 
Okay, so now I've had a little play, I can understand why they've got such different size water containers. So this is the one on the Oakleen one. And you can see it carries a fraction of the one of the more pilot one that I've been using for a while. Now they're very different products, so the um, Oakleen one's just using that uh, jet of water, but it's kind of more like a, a fine spray. And this older, more pilot one I've got, it's more like a water pistol in terms of it's fires a jet. So just to demo how the different sprays work, I'm just going to dual weld these um, water flossers. So, see that one's much more of a jet, and the OT one, much more of a spray. Okay, to test the strength of the Oclean W1 irrigator, I've mocked up a, well I don't know what you call it, a target I guess, so I've basically just put a piece of tissue paper and I've sellotaped it over a cardboard box about the size of a shoebox. So I'm just going to fire this at the tissue paper and see kind of, well, see what it does to the tissue paper. It should break through I think. Okay, let's go. Turn it on. Put it away. Right, I'll start it on single burst first. Let's try it. How far away? Just, let's do it from far away. Okay. Just made the tissue paper wet. Let's try a bit closer. Because when you're using it, you'll be that close to your gun. Hmm, interesting. Now you can see, yeah, that has made a hole. Do a bit more damage. It's making nice little puncture holes, so you can see the power of it. Let's try it on the faster mode. So as you can see, it's made quite a big hole in the tissue paper. So that should have quite a bit of strength to get the bits out between your teeth. Okay, as per my previous water flosser review, I'm gonna do the cereal test. So basically, if you haven't seen that video, the cereal test is I eat a bowl of cereal. That's basically uh, a bowl of Special K. Um, I'll then brush my teeth for two minutes with my normal Oral-B toothbrush. And then we'll use the water floss or the O-Clean irrigator just to see uh, how much this gets out of my teeth beyond what my normal toothbrush gets out. Okay, so step one, eat a bowl of cereal. So I've eaten the cereal. How did my teeth let? Uh... Right, on to stage two, which is brushing my teeth. I'll do two minutes. Okay, so I brushed my teeth for two minutes now. How are they looking now? Uh... Right, so let's see what this can get out. The sink is completely clean. See, completely clean sink. Let's give this a go.
So as you can see, there's a few bits of cereal in there. So an electric toothbrush won't get your teeth completely clean. It definitely won't get out the bits between your teeth. So that's why an uh, aurigator like this really comes in handy, just to get your teeth feeling extra clean. So one thing I really like about this is the rubber tip. So because that's flexible, it means you can get it right up to your gums without worrying too much. It's also a really nice portable size, and I think with that plastic case that it came in, once 2020 is over, um, and we're into a time when we can travel again, this is the one I'd probably take on holiday with me. It's nice and light for traveling, so it's really got that going for it. If you are gonna get one of these, and I recommend you do, because it's quite a sleek machine, perhaps get one that isn't white. One of the downsides of the white one I've noticed is I've already started to leave a few dirty fingerprints on it. But otherwise, it's a really nice, sleek machine. Uh, like all kind of water flusters, they take a little while to get used to. Um, I definitely prefer the kind of the mode where you have to hold the button to give it bursts. Um, I think I found when I got a water flosser before that they just take a little while to practice with. Um, I have earlier, I don't know if I got it on camera, I sprayed myself in the face, but. I think I don't think that's a device, I just think it's me. They take a little while to get used to and get your te technique down with. So I've just connected the OClean app. Uh, it connects via Bluetooth. Um, so I'm just gonna see what happens when I use it. Ain't no data at the moment. Connecting. We got different, different uh, plans. My device. I can do a firmware update on the flosser. See the firmware update. Oops, got the latest firmware, that's good. Now it gives you a nozzle status, so I don't know if you can see that very well. Basically, it records how many times you use a floss and it reminds you to replace the nozzle when the nozzle needs changing. It's interesting to have app integration with your flosser. I think it basically just records how much you use it uh, reminds you to replace the nozzle. Oh. Okay, I was just looking at the OClean website, which I'll link down below, um, just to read up on some of the features of the OClean W1 Smart Oral Irrigator, which I've been reviewing today. So, uh, it's got an exclusive innovation Arabic flushing technique, which we've seen, because it just does those jets and those little puffs. It's a small size, and it only weighs 159 grams, so it is quite light. Does intermittent flushing, pre precise injection of tooth gap. Nine levels of optional strength. Well, I've only worked out how to do the three different levels. I'm not quite sure where you get to the nine, but I've probably just not figured it out. Apparently you can get 160 times, uh, or 160 uses out of that little water reservoir. So that's pretty efficient for the size. Uh, it's got Bluetooth connection to the app, yet yeah. apparently the body's been carved with a laser. Uh, magnetic charging, yeah, I think this is a quite a cool feature. Yeah, that's quite nice because you're not going to pull it off and, you know, if it's on the side then, yeah, you know how MagSafe works. It means your irrigator is not going to go everywhere. Uh, silicon nozzle, yeah, that's quite good. Dentist recommended, well, apparently. So... Yeah, interesting. I think one of my favorite features is probably this little case it comes with. So I take the nozzle off, just pulls out. It's got a little place in the top for the nozzle. There we go, that just clips in there. And the body just fits into there like that. And then nice and small, that will fit in your suitcase. You can take that on holiday. 
Okay, so in summary, I'd say this is a good product. I've enjoyed using it. Um, it certainly left my teeth feeling very clean. If you listen, actually they're squeaky. So um, maybe I over clean them whilst I was doing the review, but um, yeah, it certainly gets your teeth very clean. And I don't know about you, but 2020 has been a bit of a funny year. I've not been able to get to see my dentist. They've just not been um, accepting appointments. So, um, if you don't have a kind of water flosser or, or irrigate, I would recommend you get this one or something like this just to keep your teeth clean and get those bits out between the teeth that is so hard to get out. And I don't know if you like me, I, I really don't like using floss and then products like this are a much better alternative. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and more importantly you found my review of the Oclean W1 Smart Oral Irrigator useful. Now if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe to the channel. In a future video I'll be sure to uh, review this Tulip um, Oclean Air 2 Sonic electric toothbrush. Actually I think the Tulip is maybe just the colour. So yeah, subscribe and I'll be reviewing this shortly.